My beloved waking up between 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. can be a spiritual experience for many people, and some believe it is a sign from God. Let's explore why some people think God wakes them up during these early morning hours. In various spiritual beliefs, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. is considered a time when the spiritual world is most active. This period is often called the hour of the soul or the witching hour. It's believed that the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds is thinner during this time, allowing for clearer communication with the divine. Many religious teachings suggest that waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. is a call to pray, meditate, or reflect. It could be a moment when God wants to speak to you, offer guidance, or provide clarity. By waking you up at this time, God might be encouraging you to spend time in quiet reflection, away from the distractions of the day. Waking up during these early hours can be a chance to look inward. It's a quiet time to think about your life, your purpose, and the things that truly matter to you. Some believe that God uses this time to help you focus on your personal growth, to let go of what no longer serves you, and to understand yourself better. Waking up repeatedly between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. can be a sign that you are going through a spiritual awakening. This means you are becoming more aware of your spiritual path and the presence of God in your life. God might be waking you up to remind you that you are not alone and that there is a higher purpose to everything you are experiencing. Sometimes waking up at these hours can feel like a nudge from God asking you to listen. It could be a time to pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, and dreams. God may be trying to communicate something important to you, and waking up at this time could be a way to get your attention. Many believe that 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. is a time for healing. This could be emotional healing, physical healing, or spiritual healing. God might wake you up during these hours to give you the opportunity to pray for healing, forgive you the opportunity to pray for healing, forgive others, or release any negative emotions that are holding you back. Waking up during these hours could also be a test of your faith and trust in God. It could be a way for God to see if you are willing to turn to Him for guidance, comfort, or answers. If you wake up at this time, it might be helpful to take a moment to pray or meditate, asking God for strength, wisdom, or understanding. For some, waking up at this time is a call to engage in spiritual warfare. This means praying against negative forces, evil spirits, or any negative energy that might be affecting your life. Believers in this idea see this as a way God is asking them to stand strong in their faith and pray for protection. Waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. can be a gentle reminder that God is always with you. It can be comforting to know that no matter what is happening in your life, you are not alone. It might be God's way of reassuring you of His presence and love. Sometimes, waking up during these hours can be a sign that you need to realign with your purpose. It could be a moment to think about whether you are on the right path or if there are changes you need to make in your life. God might be waking you up to help you refocus on what truly matters and guide you toward your true calling. Waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. can mean different things to different people, but many believe it is a sign from God. Whether it is a call to prayer, a time for self-reflection, a sign of spiritual awakening, or a moment of healing, it can be a powerful experience. If you find yourself waking up at these early hours, take it as an opportunity to connect with God, listen to His message, and grow spiritually. My dear friends, there is something truly special about praying between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. During these early hours, we can set aside time to connect with God. When we pray, we can reflect on Psalm 100, verse 4 to 5, which encourages us to enter God's presence with a thankful heart and praise His name. We begin our prayers by honoring God, followed by asking for what we need. Let's pray together. Dear God, our Heavenly Father, I come before you with gratitude and praise. You are the Almighty, 
the ruler over all things, the beginning and the end. There is none like you. We stand in awe of your power and greatness, and we worship you with reverence. I thank you for your love, faithfulness, and boundless mercy. Your plan for salvation through Jesus Christ is perfect, and I praise you for it. Thank you for your holiness, justice, and unchanging nature. Your word is true and strengthens us. Please forgive my shortcomings and hear my prayer. I place my trust in you because you are always faithful and true. I surrender my whole self, my thoughts, feelings, and body to you. You are the creator, and I am your creation. Shape my life according to your will. As we come together in prayer, I am thankful for the hearts that turn to you. Cleanse us and fill us with your spirit. Thank you for your grace and truth. Reveal yourself to me in new ways. I worship and honor your holy name. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen. Friends, let us also seek God's forgiveness. Dear God, I praise you and give you all honor and glory. Please forgive us, for we have all fallen short. We are sorry for our wrong actions and the times we have not lived according to your will. Your word says that if we confess our wrongdoings, you will forgive us and make us new again. I acknowledge my mistakes and ask for your mercy. I am sorry for hurting others and for ignoring your guidance. Thank you for being just and forgiving. Help me to be strong and do what is right. Remind me that your love and forgiveness never run out. Through Jesus, I find true peace and freedom from my mistakes. I forgive those who have hurt me and ask for your help to be as compassionate and forgiving as you are. Amen. Please heal any hurt or anger in my heart. I ask that broken relationships be restored through your power. Let your love and forgiveness flow through me so others may see your greatness. Amen. As we come together in prayer, I am thankful for the hearts that are opening to you right now, Lord. Your word in Micah 7 verse 18 to 19 tells us, Who is a God like you, who forgives our wrongs and pardons our sins? You don't remain angry forever, but take pleasure in showing mercy. You promise to have compassion, casting our sins far away and burying our faults in the depths of the sea. Your faithfulness is amazing, and each day we experience new mercies from you. We are grateful for the hope and confidence we have in you. Thank you for forgiving us, Lord. I accept your mercy and grace. May our days be filled with peace, our hearts with love, and our lives with joy because of Jesus. Amen. My friends, let us offer a prayer of thankfulness. Gratitude brings God's blessings into our lives. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 encourages us to give thanks in all situations, for this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. So, let's approach God humbly with thankful hearts. Heavenly Father, King of kings and Lord of lords, you are our rock and our fortress. You are faithful, full of grace, and our provider. I am thankful for your constant presence, countless blessings, and the gift of life. Thank you for the people who bring happiness and support into my life, for your endless love, and for Jesus' sacrifice for my sins. I am grateful for the new life we have in Christ and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for the gifts, talents, and even the challenges that shape me according to your will. I am grateful for the lessons learned during difficult moments, for your comfort, support, and peace. Thank you for showing me how to forgive and for the confidence that I can rely on your promises. Amen. Father, I am thankful for your constant work in my life, guiding me through obstacles and fulfilling your purposes. I appreciate the presence of the Holy Spirit and the comfort it brings, even in hard times. Thank you for the lessons on forgiveness and the assurance that I can trust your word that all things will work for good. As I continue on this path of faith, 
I ask for your strength and wisdom. Help me to remain steady in thankfulness, trusting in your guidance and provision. May my life reflect your love and faithfulness, becoming a source of hope to those around me. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. In 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8 to 9, it says that even when we face troubles from all directions, we are not crushed. We might be confused, but we don't lose hope. We may be mistreated, but never abandoned. We might get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. We carry the death of Jesus within us so that his life may also be revealed in us. Our difficulties are small and temporary, but they produce a glory that far outweighs them and will last forever. Instead of focusing on the troubles we see now, we should look toward what is unseen. The things we see are temporary, but the unseen things will last forever. O oh Lord, as I rest today, I want to thank you for the peace I have, knowing you are in control. I am grateful for the promise of eternal life and the hope we have because of Jesus Christ. Your word in Romans 8 verse 28 reminds us that all things work together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. So, I thank you for every situation, whether good or bad, because I trust you are working everything for my good. Thank you for being faithful and providing for me in every season of my life. Lord, I am thankful for your enduring love and faithfulness. Your mercy and grace are always there for me. James 1 verse 17 reminds me that every good and perfect gift comes from you, and you never change. You are always good. Thank you for all the blessings, both big and small. Help me to keep a grateful heart and remember that all the good in my life comes from you. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. My dear friends, let's join together in prayer, seeking God's protection and asking for His blessings in our lives. In 3 John 1 verse 2, it says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. So, let's approach our loving and gracious God in prayer. Heavenly Father, our rock and salvation, you are our source of strength. I come before your throne of grace and mercy, recognizing you as the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and the giver of all blessings. With humility, I admit that without you, I am nothing. I worship and praise your holy name. Thankful for all you have done and all you will do, each day I see your new mercies, and I am grateful for your endless love. Gracious Lord, we thank you for your promises, like the one in Matthew 18, verse 18, where you assure us that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever we lose on earth will be lost in heaven. In the powerful name of Jesus, I bind every force of darkness that tries to hinder my progress. I bind every spirit of bondage and lack that opposes your divine will in my life and the lives of my loved ones. Amen. Amen. I reject every deceptive plan of the enemy that seeks to bring harm or lack into my life. Lord, you are my protector, my shield, and my strong fortress. I declare that no weapon formed against me will succeed, and every voice that speaks against me in judgment will be silenced. Thank you, Lord, for commanding your angels to guard me in all my ways. Mighty God, I am thankful for your divine protection over my family, my health, and my finances. I appreciate your constant faithfulness, guidance, and covering in every part of my life. By the authority of Jesus Christ, I reject every spirit of sickness, poverty, death, debt, and financial lack. You are my provider, supplying all my needs according to your glorious riches. I declare that a financial breakthrough is coming, and I am moving into a season of abundance and overflow. Amen. I proclaim that blessings surround me whether I am in the city or in the countryside. 
I affirm that I am covered by your loving care. Your favor, grace, and blessings are upon me. You have given me the power to overcome obstacles and challenges, so I claim victory over debt, financial instability, and anything that tries to prevent me from fulfilling your purpose for my life. I confidently declare that I am positioned as a leader, not a follower, above and not beneath. Father, I admit that sometimes my faith wavers, especially during financial struggles, but today I choose to trust in you, the God who can do the impossible. I rely on your promise to provide more than I can imagine. I reject all forms of stagnation and limitations, knowing you are the God who makes a way in difficult times and brings hope in dry places. I call forth opportunities, divine connections, and open doors that lead to financial blessings and freedom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that every barrier to my prosperity is broken. I hold on to your promise that your grace will enable me to have more than enough for every good purpose. Lord, I reject the spirits of fear and worry about my financial future. Your perfect love casts out all fear, and I claim peace over my mind and heart, trusting that you are my endless source of provision. I rest in the assurance that your plans for me are for a prosperous future filled with blessings. I am confident that you will complete the good work you have started with me. I seal these prayers in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, knowing that your word never fails and will achieve what you desire. Amen. I continue to trust in your promises, Lord, knowing you are faithful and true. I believe that as I align my thoughts and actions with your will, I will see your blessings overflow in my life. Thank you for your provision, protection, and never-ending love. I choose to walk in faith, not fear, knowing you are with me every step of the way. I surrender my worries and concerns about the future into your capable hands, trusting you to guide me and provide for me according to your perfect plan. Thank you, Lord, for the peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. With confidence in your faithfulness, I move forward, knowing you are working all things together for my good. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I declare that I am under your divine protection, Lord, and I gratefully receive your blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. My dear friends, let's come together in faith and seek the Lord's healing touch. Remember what it says in Matthew 9, verse 35, where Jesus heals every sickness among the people. His compassion has no limits, offering not only physical healing, but also comfort for our souls. As we pray, let's remember the story of the woman in Luke, which shows us the power of unwavering faith in God's ability to heal. Let us pray with that same spirit, trusting in His merciful embrace. To everyone hearing my voice, let's go to the Lord in prayer. I invite you to pray this prayer with me to receive its blessings. You can also listen to this prayer daily to build your faith and come into agreement. Heavenly Father, you are our salvation, our healer, and our great physician. You are our deliverer and our help in times of trouble. I come before you thankful for your mercy and grace. We praise your holy name for your endless love. My soul longs for your divine healing and deliverance. Lord, I hold on to the promise in Isaiah 50, 3 verse 5, that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Gracious Lord, I stand in faith on your promise that the prayer offered in faith will heal the sick and you will raise them up. I trust in your grace to lift me up and bring healing to every part of my life, body, mind, and spirit. Merciful God, touch me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Let the healing power of the Holy Spirit flow through my body, touching and healing every organ, muscle, joint, marrow, and cell. 
We thank you, gracious Lord, for healing and renewal. Thank you for deliverance. My soul is grateful as I remember the words of Psalm 103, verse 3, which praises you for forgiving all our sins and healing all our diseases. Lord, I praise you for the many blessings you have given me. I ask for healing and victory in every part of my life, whether it be physical pain, emotional struggles, or spiritual battles. Lord, I find comfort in Psalm 34, verse 17, which assures us that when the righteous cry out, you hear them and deliver them from all their troubles. Father, I cry out to you today, fully believing that you hear me and will free me from every form of bondage that tries to trap my body, soul, and spirit. I stand firm in faith, refusing to be trapped by evil or any spiritual bondage. Lord, heal the brokenhearted, set the captives free, and open the doors for those who are bound. I accept your freedom and light as my divine inheritance through Jesus Christ. Amen. May your anointing make us strong so we can share your truth with others. Dear Father, I am so thankful for your kindness and forgiveness. Thank you for healing me and setting me free. Your kingdom, power, and glory last forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Please say amen below to thank God and claim this prayer. I believe all the good things in this prayer are now yours in Jesus' name. Listen to this prayer for seven days and see miracles happen in your life. Why seven days? The number seven is special in God's word. It often means something is complete, perfect, or fully done. So, if you pray with us for seven days, something amazing could happen to you. Share your stories in the comments and send this prayer to your loved ones who need blessings, healing, and protection. May the Lord bless you greatly in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. God bless you. Amen.